Hello, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Theresia Fleischer. I'm the head of sales and account management at Idealo. And I'm going to talk to you about price and offer trends in the German e-commerce market and give you some outlook of what we are expecting is going to happen in this year. But before I start, oh my God, that's loads of light. I can't really see you. But then still, I'd like to know who's in the audience here today. Um, who, ob obvious question, but who of you works in e-commerce? Hands up. Okay, some people. Who of you works for an online shop? Okay, awesome. There are some merchants here. And who of you? Is there anyone who's uh, already working with Idealo? Okay, some, uh, some, uh, some uh, of our clients already. Nice. And if, in case you don't work with Idealo, then uh, I'm sure we can have a conversation after this uh, lecture. So let's get started. Um, talking about offer trends and price trends uh, of the year. What, why, am, why I am the right person to talk about such a topic? Where does uh, the data come from? Well, when it comes to price comparison, we are actually the number one platform in the European market. With more than 76 million visits a month, this puts us in the top three of the German e-commerce, only with eBay and Amazon ahead of us. What does this mean? 76 million visits per month. Why do so many people come uh, to our site every, every month? Because there are the merchants. There is where e-commerce is taking place. With over 50,000 merchants on our, uh, on our side, this basically means that at any given time, there are more than 500 million offer listings live on our site where users can compare prices and find the next best offer they'd like to um, purchase. And the offers on our site, they are always up to date. Roughly 4.5 billion offer updates are happening every day on our on our platform and on our site. And then I believe now you can imagine Idealo does it quite on a treasury trove of data, which we can use in order to um, analyze, get a deeper understanding of questions like, what are the current price trends in the, trends in the German market? How is customer behavior uh, happening in our uh, present, uh, present moment in the past and give an outlook on what's going to happen in the future? So um, this is what my lecture is going to be ab uh, about. It's going to be divided into three parts. At first, I will talk about, uh, of course, inflation, the big topic of the past year, and the um, most recent price developments of the market. Then we will take a deeper look into what actually happened to consumer behavior um, following that uh, pricing change that we saw in the market. And last but not least, I will give you three recommendations on what you should do as uh, merchants, as online uh, shops, in order to make 2023 a big success. So let's get started. And in the very beginning, I'd like to show you this graph, which was most recently published by Statista, and uh, actually states a quite promising outlook for the year. We are expecting the German e-commerce market to grow by about 32%. And when I saw this chart, I was kind of surprised because it, because it is some sort of surprising outlook given the fact that we had a rather sad year 2022, right? Um, so I'm going to ask you, what do you think? Who of you in here believes that 2023 is going to be a good year for the German e-commerce? Yeah, only a few optimists here for the pessimists here in the room. I hope I can, I can lift your mood a little bit by the uh, charts and information I'm going to show with you in the next couple of, uh, in the next couple of minutes. But before we start, of course, let's uh, take a look at the very bad news of the, of the year, of the past year. Um, you've all read the news. I don't have to repeat that. Um, the inflation rate has been recovering a bit but then still 8.7%. Uh, th this would have been quite some news if we would have known only one year ago. Imagine, remember last year, February uh, 2022, who was expecting that? I didn't, I, I wasn't expecting that to be, um, to be um, honest, but that's the situation we are currently um, dealing with. So we're going to take a deeper look into the inflation rates 8.7%, that's the current average in Germany. Who of you thinks that talking about online retail 
the inflation rate of online retail, was it below or above average? Who of you believes it was much higher than 8.6%? Ah, only, only one per, I'm only seeing one person in the, in the front, but you were actually, you were actually right. The inflation rate when it comes to, um, e-commerce was much, uh, was much higher. So what we did at Idealo, of course we know all the prices from our merchants um, across uh, most of the categories that you can find in the in e-commerce. So what we did, we took a look at August 2020, which was actually the last time when we had a deflation in Germany, and then we took a look what happened with the prices in the different categor uh, categories. And um, in uh, most of our categories, they were uh, way uh, above our average pricing. So on average, people, uh, if you take a look at categories like lifestyle or living, um, people do have to pay on average about 25% more than they did have to pay back in the days. And uh, this is not only a development that happened all across the year. This uh, especially got stronger and stronger across Black uh, Friday and the Christmas season, where people, uh, consumers across all categories had to pay up to 33% more uh, for their Christmas gifts uh, last year than they had to uh, pay two years ago. That's a bummer for most of the, or many consumers in the, in the, German, uh, in the German market. So what does this actually mean for our consumers having to pay 33% more in order to buy, purchase their Christmas gift? It means that they are running out of money to save. Right now, about 60% of the German households do have to spend their entire, um, entire disposable income in order to cover their mere uh, living expenses. So um, knowing this, it's not a surprise that the customer um, consumer sentiment is at a very low level um, when it comes to purchasing products that especially related to categories like travel, leisure, clothing, or lifestyle. Um, you can also see in this graph that the development has stopped and has uh, the sentiment has recovered a bit. But as compared to one or two years ago, it is still at a very, very low, um, very low level. And um, uh, also talking to the users that come and visit uh, Idealo on a very regular basis, most of our consumers um, agree that given the, the fact of the uh, still ongoing inflation, people are making their choices much more wisely than they did in the, uh, than they did in the past. To sum this up, it's, very t it's been very tough times for both consumers and our merchants. Because first of all, uh, there is the inflation. So in the end, there is less money in your pocket. So what you're going to spend is going to be, um, yeah, you're going to be more careful about the purchase decisions that you make. So this is far as for the theory. Um, let's take a look um, how this actually looks like as from a perspective of a price comparison platform uh, like Idealo. What's uh, like the data that we saw last year? But before we start with this, I would like to give you an introduction and what is called the lipstick effect. Um, for those of you who have not heard about it, the lipstick effect states that in times, especially of economic crisis, people tend to purchase small luxury items. They don't stop consuming luxury goods, but they focus on, um, on small things. So again, one hands up here. Who of you thinks that the lipstick effect was visible on Idealo? Yes, yes, it was, and you are actually right. We saw this in, a, in the past year. We compared what happened with especially lipsticks, but also other small price uh, items on the um, demand side of our, uh, of our platform. And uh, we saw that this effect actually does, ex uh, does uh, exist. And why am I giving you this example? It's for one reason, because I, th I believe it shows very clearly the difference between need and, um, uh, and behavior in the end. So the customer's need still stays the same. So in the case of the lipstick effect, there is still the need for the lu small luxury items that make you feel good. But what changes is your strategy, like uh, the, the purchase decision you're going to take in order to meet uh, and satisfy the need that you, um, that you have. And 
Um, uh, so knowing this, knowing this effect, knowing the effects that we've seen on our side, my hypothesis for this year, 2023, is the need stays the same. What changes is the customer behavior. So, and I'm going to back this up in, uh, in the uh, upcoming slides. What we will see in the next uh, slides is the needs of our consumers are still there. We don't see much changes when it comes to what categories are people searching on our side, which purchase decisions they make. But the people do have less uh, money available in their pockets, so they're going to... Um, take a, a, put a much bigger importance on factors like the pricing of the products than they used to do in the, in the past. So, uh, and I'm going to back this up with a, some uh, pieces of evidence here. Uh, my first figure here, 39%, what does this mean? So I, t I told you earlier, people make their choices more wisely, they are going to spend money on rather smaller priced uh, items. That's what we also saw on Idealo. So the demand, first of all, the demand in our low priced segment, uh, increased much more than the demand on our higher priced category segments increased. And also then at the same time, if we take a look into the different categories and seg uh, segments, we had uh, some very interesting findings. I think most of you would agree that once people come to Idealo, it's a price comparison site, so they go there to compare prices, right? Um, but actually not every time users click on the cheapest offer on our offer list because there are other factors like the delivery time, whether you know and trust uh, the, the brand that is being listed on, on our site. What we found out in the past year that um, up to uh, there was a, an, a growth rate of 39% of, of clicks on the best price offers on our site, which means that uh, so-called convenience factors like delivery times or whether you already know a brand are not as important anymore if, uh, if, you in, if in return you will get a cheaper offer in the end. Um, similar things we saw when we took a deeper look into what happened actually on Black Friday on our side. What we saw, and you, we've uh, all heard, heard the news, Christmas season last year was a bit of the trouble for the market. But when we took a look at what happened at Idealo, we weren't that much in trouble. Actually, on Black Friday, we had an increase of 15% of visits on our side as compared to the previous year. So... There is uh, um, an increasing relevance of price comparison platforms like Idealo to our, uh, to our consumers. At the same time, we noted that both the uh, um, average time that people spend on our side increases. The leadouts uh, are, are, uh, are stable and increasing. Our conversion rates are stable. But then, in the end, if you take a look at the German e-commerce market, uh, you were reading the news that everyone was complaining that we the turnovers were about 12% below last year. So this again is another fact that proves there is, the demand is still there. People are searching for their, uh, uh, searching for products they are going to consume, but there is less uh, money uh, in their pocket to spend. Um, so they are much more cost and price sensitive than they were in the past. And uh, when we come to cost-sensitive uh, uh, questions, um, I'd like to uh, give you a short uh, intro on my on the what is my most favorite Idealo feature, which is the Idealo price alert. Um, for those of you who don't know, I give you a brief introduction. So the Idealo price alert is a, one of our features where you can activate a notification that you will get if a product that you would like to purchase but is currently still too expensive has reached your desired price. So you can set your target price and, and once the, this price is reached or undercut, you will get a notification um, from us. And um, yeah, if I say, okay, people are more cost sensitive, they are still searching, one would assume that the amount of uh, price alerts on our side should increase, right? And that's, that's actually what happened last year, and it was a big increase. So we noted a, um, in a growth rate of 46% of our, the price alerts set on our side in 2022 as compared to the um, to the previous year, which is a, a, again a fact, that, uh, a proof that people um, are very careful and very aware of the um, price situation in the current market. We also then had a look at 
what happened with those price alerts? Because one might think there is a big inflation in the market. People are expecting their, uh, to find their best offers. But how does this go uh, along with, the, uh, with each other? And we actually noted that we didn't only have a growth rate in the um, activation of price alerts, but they were actually also triggered. Um, when in uh, 2021, about 14% of the set price trigger price alerts were being triggered. Um, last year, it was already every third price uh, trigger that was uh, being activated in the past. And uh, now you would think, well, how does this go together? Because there is an inflation, there are higher prices. Why do these alarm actually trigger? Because everything is more expensive and consumers expect uh, to find cheap prices if they purchase their goods online. It's because People know that we are in a crisis and our consumers know that the prices have increased. And in the, in the same sense, their um, price expectation, their willingness to pay has um, sort of adapted to this changed situation. And uh, we also had the same finding when we uh, took a deeper look into the actual difference between uh, the desired price and the actual price in the, in the market. So what you can see here, on average, people expected uh, electronic products to be on average 12% cheaper than they actually uh, than they actually were. Same as for the uh, for the other categories. And what we then did, we took a look at the la at last year, 2021, and found out that the um, the the difference between the uh, desired price and the actual price, it's more or less the same. So what this means is that our consumers know that everything's become more uh, more expensive. But then they are still purchasing. They still go in, uh, on price comparison sites um, like Idealo. Um, but then they do this uh, in order to make sure that they are going to get the best deal, knowing that everything has become more expensive in the last year. This is further backed up by this slide, where we took a look into what are, where the most... Uh, most demanded categories on our side, and there hasn't been that much of a change. So still people are looking for uh, smartphones, tablets, um, consumer electronic devices when it comes to Black Friday's uh, season, same as, as they did in the year before. But then again, uh, last year, they might have chosen the deals where they had to wait maybe a bit, bit longer. And maybe they also chose brands that they hadn't known in the past in order to make sure that they get the best price in the end. Again here, to sum up, um, consumers are still consuming. So there is uh, online retail is not, is not dying. It's still up and living. So that's the good news. But then there is less money uh, available for our, uh, for our um, users, for our consumers. And so they make their choices more wisely than they used to do in the past. So um, we then also took a look, was this only effect that we saw on Black Friday or what about the, the all of the year 2020, 2022? And also again here, Black Friday was nothing, nothing special, no special se season um, regarding this trend. All across the year, we, uh, we figured the, again the difference between the, the price alerts we are, uh, we are having is about 15 per, uh, 15%. In the past year, it was 18%. So what does this mean? Um, you, uh, Idealo users on average expected the prices to be about 15% cheaper than they actually were. Um, but this is more or less on the same range that we, that we saw in the, in the past years. So also again here another proof that as from a user's perspective, the inflation rate itself was already factored in, into their expectations on uh, their uh, willingness uh, willingness to take a purchase decision. Also, there was no change when we took a look into the uh, categories on the demand side. That was actually the most surprising chart to me when we uh, started this research because I remember the... Um, the time of the beginning of the pandemic season where we could instantly ch see changes on the demand side. Uh, you all remember the, the um, news from back then regarding the toilet paper and so on. So uh, on Idealo, most of the Germans go on Idealo in order to um, search for the products they're going to, to purchase. And we do instantly see changes in, um, in uh, customer needs. But it was very interesting to find out that there was actually 
not that much of a, uh, a change in the, on the demand side when it comes to which uh, categories are being uh, demanded or searched on our site. And also another very interesting finding, backing up the chart that I showed you earlier, people are willing to wait longer in order to get the best offer avail uh, available. So if you get a better price uh, on Idealo, you're willing to um, wait on uh, average almost one day, uh, uh, yeah, in, in general, a bit, uh, almost one day longer than you were um, supposed to wait in the past. Again, here in summary, what we saw on our, on our side, there is still the demand for all the categories that exist in the German e-commerce uh, e-commerce market. There are no cha changes on the percentage of uh, uh, where users go on our side, but we do see um, the, it's still stable, but on a lower level. So uh, people tend to prefer um, uh, articles, uh, products on a lower la price level and uh, products um, uh, on the top one, or top one or top two prices on the on the price of a listing. So what does this mean now? So now what what are we going to do about uh, about that? What shall, what shall we do for this year? And I'd like to um, start here with uh, Ayrton Senna, uh, who once said it: "You can't overtake 15 cars in sunny weather, but you for sure can whilst it's raining." And uh, I like this uh, sentence a lot because it has been raining. It's been quite a storm, actually, in the, by the end of last year, and uh, which took us by surprise because uh, us in e-commerce, we were so lucky in the last year, in the last uh, two years. It was all sunny, sunshine, 25 uh, 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 dec uh, decrees and uh, party moods. Um, and the rain took us by surprise. And it has been a challenge. And um, uh, if you follow the news every uh, every other week, there is news also of um, companies who are not making it, who are um, disappearing from the uh, from the market. But this also means that there is um, f for you as merchants a chance to step in now. I uh, showed you earlier the graph that that shows okay the inflation rate it's going down. The customer uh, the customer sentiment. It's getting better. It's getting better. So right now is the moment to um, get up and uh, put on your raincoat and go out there and uh, speed up your um, marketing investments in order to make sure that you win the win the race uh, before the streets get um, are not wet anymore. So um, the recommendation I would like to give you when it comes to 2023. Of course, and it's a low brainer, be data driven. I would have given you the same recommendation uh, last year. But when looking into data, especially in this year, um, make sure that you have a very uh, keen eye on your, your product range and especially on your, on your pricing uh, nowadays, because we uh, do know, we know uh, by the um, facts that I've show, uh, shown you, we've seen it in our, on our data, People are much more price sensitive than they used to be um, in the in the past. I told you that people are uh, expecting the prices to be, uh, on average, about 15% cheaper than they are actually right now. But this doesn't mean that you have to lower all of your prices by 15 15%. Um, you know, you if you if you want to win the race, you don't have to outrun the lion. You just may may might make sure that you outrun the person sitting right next to you. So take a closer look at what's happening in the in the market and um, uh, adjust, adjust your pricing um, your pricing accordingly. Also, explore new channels. Um, as I told you earlier, the need stays the same, but the consumer behavior changes. People are taking their decisions more wisely. They are taking well-informed decisions. So make sure that you are on the channels or you are visible to um, your customers on the channels that they actually use. And this, in the end, may, uh, uh, means that... Uh, uh, don't stay at home while it's raining. You know, find out where your customers are. Go out, be visible in their marketing, um, uh, in the marketing channels that your users um, are going to, your customers are going to use. And um, I'm coming to the end of this presentation. I would like to come back to the chart that I showed you in the very beginning um, on whether this year is going to be a good year. 
And um, as from my perspective, I believe uh, it will be a good year because um, we the the uh, because the the users are still there and the demand is still there. All we have to do is to adjust to the changed user behavior um, on our uh, on our side. So if you run an online shop um, and if you go back to your offices uh, tomorrow, check on the uh, on the attractiveness of your offers based on the prices that you that you set and um, maybe ask yourself whether you can make a, make a um, difference here. And of course, also ask yourself whether you're already working together with uh, Idealo. And that's uh, the last piece, a uh, short piece of, of course, advertising I'm going uh, I'm going to do. I work at Idealo, so of course, I'm a bit biased. Um, but it is a fact that people are ca using price comparison sites much, much more than they used to do um, in, the pa uh, in the past. And Idealo is the number one price comparison site in the German market, both as in Uh, as in Europe. When we take a look at the past year, uh, we've been on a growth path up to now. When it comes to the uh, visits on our side, when it comes to the development of the length, how long users stay on our side, when it comes to our um, our click rates and con uh, on conversion rates, and um, I'd like to invite you to initiate the conversation with me or to come and join us in our stand um, after the Q&A session to... Um, Yeah, to talk about what we can actually do in order to support you growing your um, business. Because Idealo does not only enable our consumers to find the best uh, offers available online, we also enable our merchants so then they can make the most um, effective use of their marketing expenses. There are 50,000 merchants on our side and I believe, uh, no, I not only believe, I know that most of them would uh, agree that Idealo does deliver very high, high quality um, traffic at a uh, which has really good conversion rates and uh, and good uh, is also attractive as from a, um, a cost revenue perspective. Uh, so in case you still haven't talked to my colleagues, we are just out there around the corner. Um, we are still here for a bit longer, and we are happy to initiate a conversation with you. That's the end of my presentation. Now, uh, thank you very much for your attention. I saw, I saw some of you taking uh, pictures. If you like to get the presentation afterwards, you can also just send us an email and then we will forward it to you instantly. Thank you for a great presentation, Theresia. I would have a question. So I noticed that the lipstick effect only kicked in in November and December. So um, what is your take on that? Why we are only ready to buy the luxury things on a Christmas time and, yes, and does no, it say we'll stay for the rest of the year? I was, I was expecting that, I was expecting that question because one, one might, uh, one might think that, okay, people are pur purchasing lipsticks in order to make, get their, um, Christmas gifts, right? But then again, it's Christmas season. So we are seeing like the, the normal, um, seasons across All other different categories, you know, especially like with the consumer electronics or related to toys, if you like to get the Christmas gifts for your children. But what we saw is that especially like the, this, what is called small, rather small price luxury items actually, um, uh, how do you say this outgrew the, um, the development that we saw overall in the uh, seasonality that would be related to Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Theresa. Uh, thank you for our presentation. I would like to ask about uh, checkout processes. So uh, I know that you have a checkout by Diallo, so where customers can pay directly in your platform, right? And I would like to ask uh, what is the conversion rate based on your data compared to websites that lead to their own checkout pages? I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm acoustically, I'm, I'm having a hard time to understand what you are asking. I'm very sorry. Uh, I was uh, asking about the checkout processes. So you have a checkout by Idealo, right? No, we don't. We don't. We, we used to have a, um, a Idealo direct purchase until December last year. But uh, as of this year, 2023, we are pure price comparison side that forwards 100% of our traffic to our um, to our merchants. The, so the checkout happens in the online shop. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Another brave soul. 
Not so brave, but uh, just uh, to ask you, why did you turn off the checkout card from the site? Pardon me, say it again. Uh, you said that you turned off the checkout uh, yes. from your site. Why, what was the reason? I, w yeah. I was also uh, expecting, that, uh, expecting that question. Well, we've had uh, the Idealo Direct Car for about uh, seven years, and it indeed was an awesome, uh, awesome product. Um, However, also a company like Idealo is taking into consideration the current changes in the uh, the current changes in the market. And what I've shown you in this presentation is what happens out there. People are focusing on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the price comparison. So they'd like to find the cheapest offer, and it doesn't really matter where they're actually going to purchase it or whether they would um, uh, they would. Uh, like to have the the convenience of the very fast uh, checkout in the end. They'd like to find the um, uh, the best prices on site, right? And uh, what we did have to do was making like a a decision on actually on which horse to put our bets. So uh, taking into consideration the price comparison, this is our core product, which has been so successful for more than 20 years. And to be um, and to be honest. Um, in the past years, we were working so much on the direct kauf, and still the uh, uh, classic price comparison side was growing and growing and growing and growing. And then as a company, you have to make a choice at a certain time. Would you like to become more of a um, marketplace or would you like to uh, uh, be the neutral uh, the, the neutral uh, price comparison side that provides excellent traffic to our, uh, to our merchants? And also back then when we invented the direct kauf, there was much more the need of convenience, the fast checkout, enable our users to instantly uh, get the product in their, in, their, uh, in their basket. And this has somehow changed because also in the past year, most of our merchants, also thanks to the great technological partners that exist uh, now, are able to, um, to provide this very fast checkout also on their, um, on their side. And then again, it's in the end a strategic business decision on whether, um, uh, uh, in which field you are actually going to be the first in the race. And we are the very best price comparison side in Germany for sure, maybe in the world in some point of the future. And that's why we decided to focus on our, um, on our core product, the price comparison. What's the difference between uh, the, the top-level development that you saw in retail yes. and in e-commerce? Are there different developments that you can see? Um, you mean retail, retail is by classic, classic retail? Exactly. Um, exactly. Well, to be, to be honest, we, are, we were focusing our research on the uh, e-commerce trends. We do have uh, um, a Idealo feature, Idealo product, which is called Idealo local, uh, local offers. But in general, still, this is also always linked to some sort of online uh, businesses. So this is where our, uh, our current focus is and it's going to be. Um, so we, on our side, we don't have the user, the user data when it comes to, uh, to retail. So I don't have the, the facts to back up any, 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 any guessing. Yeah.